What's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? Thanks for tuning into the channel. Today I am going to talk about ranking the venues in Bassmaster Fishing 2022. Breaking down each map and I'm going to tell you my top three maps. When I decided to make this video, it's kind of hard to keep my personal opinion out of the list trying to decide which are the best lakes. There's no way I could rank all eight of them from best to worst because each of these venues was of course chosen because they are great bass fishing lakes. So bass fishing aside, I tried to look at some other figures and numbers to see which of the lakes will be in my top three. So of course, if you live on Toledo Bend, absolutely Toledo Bend is going to be your favorite lake. If you live on St. John's River in real life, I'm sure St. John River is going to be one of your favorite maps to play. Well, guess what? I may piss off some people, but a lot of people do not like St. John's River, including myself, because it is tough to fish. Maybe I just need to bite it and spend some more time to fish on it. But St. John's River has some of the largest bass out of all eight of the maps for sure. So as I was putting together some numbers and figures, I went through the list of each of the eight venues, tried to see the fish size, how easy they are to catch the species, etc. And I came up with some great statistics to share with you today in order to pick my top three, which of course is my personal opinion, subject to change, no fish were harmed in the making of this video. So as I said earlier, St. John's River has some of the largest bass and it has the largest Bassington 19.6 pounds, a legendary bass, but it has the least amount of species out of all eight maps, which is only seven, there's only seven species of fish to catch on St. John's River. So the St. Lawrence River has 17 different species of fish that you can catch. Lake Chick has 15, Guntersville has 14, as well as Lake Hamilton. So let's talk about some big ones. You want those monster fish? Let's compare all the maps to how many of these have fish over 30 pounds. Well, guess who has eight? Come on in, the number one St. Lawrence River. So Guntersville has six as well as Sabine. Toledo and Lake Chick and Lake Hamilton all have five fish over 30 pounds. Now when I say over 30 pounds, I'm talking about the legendary requirements like the freshwater drum on Lake Chick needs to be 52 pounds, eight ounces to be a legendary and that is a big freshwater drum. So let's move that weight scale up to over 50 pounds. Lake Chick has four species that need to be required over 50 pounds to be a legendary. Lake Hamilton and Guntersville each have three. Now let's talk about over 100 pounds. No, let's not talk about it because the blue catfish are bug and they will not bite. So we're just gonna skip that part for now. We may have to come back and readdress this at a future date. So now that I threw out some amazing numbers at you, I can't believe one of the places I like to fish the most did not make the list. So the top three, the, well, let me say this. The number one map was an easy, clear winner based on some statistics and easy to fish. And in my personal opinion, of course, influenced that a little bit. Now the next two spots were a little bit more difficult to choose from, but maybe the fourth and fifth spots, man, it was tough. It was very hard. My favorite river to fish is not on the top three. So let's get into number two and number three. You pick, you decide. These are just my personal opinions on the game so far. Guntersville, one of my favorite locations to fish great easy access it is a large area plenty of opportunities to catch bass big old striped bass they got some monster flatheads maybe just maybe one day in the near future i'll catch me a hundred pound blue catfish in lake guntersville because they got some monsters down there and i spent hours and hours and hours of my time trying to catch them the first few days the game was released and come to find out they're bugged and don't bite at all. So this lake has 14 different species. 
Largemouth bass get over 14 and a half pounds. There are six species in Lake Guntersville over 30 pounds. And the blue catfish, which are coming to a lake near you over 100 pounds. Over 50, there's three species. Wow, so what a great place to fish. So let's move on to number two, Lake Chick. Lake Chick has 15 different species that you can catch. There's five species in Lake Chick that's over 30 pounds, and there's four over 50 pounds. So they got some bagans in there. They got swamp donkeys. They got catfish. They got it, buddy. You want to catch some big ones? Go there. Easy place to fish. Let me tell you a great little hot spot to go to. Easy to find. Once you leave the starting point, take a right. You will see a giant concrete ramp that goes into the water. You can fish right there their entire day and never get tired of catching fish. You can fill your boat up with catfish, bass, etc. Right there, right close to the boat landing. So let's give a big old drum roll. Let's talk about my number one pick, the St. Lawrence River. 17 fish species. I mean, you can't beat that. The bass do not get as large as St. John's River or Toledo Bend, but there's eight fish you can catch there over 30 pounds. That is amazing. There are only one fish over 50, but a few that's really, really close. So it is an easy river to fish. Now, I will say this. A lot of the fish in St. Lawrence River love them some spoons. But guess what? Spoons get snagged. You get snagged all the time if you're trying to fish those big old magnum spoons in shallow water. But there's fish all over the place. It's not a large map like some of the other locations. But, man, those tigers, they mad, bro. They look at you and they mean. They want to fight and they put up some great fights. So I've had some awesome days fishing on the St. Lawrence River. So drop a comment below. Let me know what your favorite location is. Now, I do not live anywhere near St. Lawrence River. Never even seen a muskie in my life. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. I am from the south, buddy. So I live and I fish on Toledo Bend. I fish the Bean River, I fish the Chafalaya Basin, I fish the Gulf of Mexico, I fish anywhere from Florida to Texas. But this is a great fishing video game. And what's so great about these fishing games, they give you opportunities to fish and catch fish in locations that you've not been in real life, which is awesome. So hunting games are the same way. They give you a great opportunity to go shoot some grizzly bears in Alaska, a place I've never been. So. Take a moment, drop a comment below with your favorite location. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, tips, or suggestions, drop a comment below. Keep on fishing, stay happy, and I'll see you next time.